Hi everyone, welcome back to Beyond Days of the Reef with Submersible Sunday. My name is Allie and I'm really excited to share with you my personal expedition on the EV Nautilus as an ocean science intern. I am really passionate about ocean exploration and one of the reasons why is because the ocean takes up 71% of our earth and not just that but it also provides over 50% of the oxygen on earth. So that's air that we have to breathe, right? It all comes from the ocean. And not just that, but food we eat, if you eat fish or shellfish or any type of seafood, it comes from the ocean. And so that's super important. And so today I'm gonna explore my personal experience doing research and exploring the ocean on the EV Nautilus. So let's get started. The expedition that I went on is called the Cascadia Margin Expedition. And what that means is that we started in San Francisco Bay, California, and traveled north to Astoria, Oregon. This was really cool for me because I got to go under the Golden Gate Bridge, as you can see from my silly, awkward selfies. Most of the way, I didn't even see land or another boat on the water. On the map on the left side of the screen, you can see all of the cracks and crevices in the ocean. This gives you a better idea of what we were exploring. And one thing I wanna point out about exploration is that you often don't know what you're going to find. And you may be the first one looking in that spot, since less than 10% of the ocean has ever been explored. You may be trying to find something new and possibly use that new discovery for science purposes. Speaking of science purposes, some of the things we explored on my expedition were methane seeps and fauna. And those may seem like big sciencey words, but let's break them down. Methane seeps are something you may have heard before in one way or another. Methane is a greenhouse gas, and a lot of us have heard of greenhouse gases when discussing climate change and ocean warming. This is important to explore in the ocean because seeps are when gases escape from below the ground, and the methane is released into our ocean, which eventually gets into our atmosphere. Exploring the ocean can inform us on how many seeps we have along our ocean basins and how this contributes to global issues like climate change. And not just that, but we also have fauna. Fauna is just a fancy word for animals or organisms. And in my expedition, we explored organisms living near methane seeps and how they are able to adapt to living at that depth. You wouldn't think that super scary vents full of bubbles coming out from the ocean would be a very good environment for organisms to live in, right? Well, actually, even though there's no sunlight down there and it seems like a super scary place to live, organisms are actually able to thrive down there because they're able to use a process called chemosynthesis. You may have heard of photosynthesis that uses light to produce energy for organisms to live, but chemosynthesis is a similar process that can occur down in the depths of the ocean without sunlight. So this is super interesting to study because we learn about organisms that are able to live in places we can't imagine and about methane seeps and how they may contribute to important topics like climate change. So my role on the Nautilus was an ocean science intern. And what that means is I was exploring the ocean through the camera lens of robots that we sent down deep in the ocean that have both cameras and sample hand grabbers that can bring interesting organisms and sediments back up to the boat. I would record dive logs of all my observations that I was seeing. And sometimes that's just blue water. Sometimes it's different types of sediments or rocks. And sometimes it's an organism we've never seen before. That's the cool part about exploration. You might even discover a new species. And once we brought up the samples, I could explore what those samples were and why they might be important. In the bottom left picture, I am measuring a tube worm, which is a super cool chemosynthetic organism. And it's really awesome because a lot of universities around the globe study things like tube worms and bringing these samples back can help them with their research. We will come back to the technology a bit after the video, but essentially we use mapping techniques to find these spots to explore and then send down our robot ROVs or remotely operated vehicles to learn more about what is on the seafloor and take samples back up to learn more about them. You may be wondering if you can get involved in ocean science research without necessarily being a marine biologist. And the answer is yes. 
On my exploration boat, there were engineers, technicians, communicators, teachers, videographers, navigators, etc. Scott Simon, the MSI director of the reef, was actually on the same boat as me on a different expedition as a communication fellow. So there's tons of opportunities for people just like you and just like me to go on a boat like this or get involved in ocean science research. The ocean is everywhere. You just have to find your avenue to it. If you're really interested and want to learn more, I highly recommend exploring the link to nautiluslive.org to check out tons of really cool pictures and videos. You can find out more about the technology of the boat and ways to get involved with a boat like the EV Nautilus. We'll learn more from Shay next week on different ways of exploring the ocean and on other exploration and research vessels. See you next time and best fishes.